Cousin, cousin Heather keeps texting me. Oh yeah, yeah. Messaging, yeah. texting, whatever the hell that thing is. Oh shit, hey. Oh, oh, oh damn. Um, oh, excuse us. We got a show to do. It's the internet age. All right. Um. Oh, I guess we we'll start with this thing right here. Well, uh, oh yeah, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. It's the Halloween show. This is the third year running. Yes, it is. This one's for three years. Oh, all right, all right. As you can see, this year for Halloween, Ooh. I am alien nothing face, and I am unicorn fucking dumbass. <laughs> Clint bought the damn costume when he went to the store. Didn't tell me. I think it looks good on you. <laughs> I mean, it's a little hard to take it serious. All right, well, you know, hey, it looks good. On. See, I said, it's the damn thing. I yeah. said, yeah, I, I said, hey, you fucking thing. I said, hey, Clint, why why can't I be like Tom Selleck minus the mustache? I have no neck. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, oh, why can't I be Tom Selleck minus the mustache in the 70s? And he okay. said, well, just, you, I'll get you a mask. And I said, cool, because he might get me some cool ass scary mask, some old lady or something. Nope. Turns out, gets me a damn unicorn mask. So let's, let's, let's move on. So in this show. I'm kind of like a floating head right now. It's pretty creepy. Hopefully, we're hoping. <laughs> Hopefully, it works out. So in this show. Uh, you know, last time we were carving pumpkins, you guys might be like, well, I hope you're carving pumpkins. Well, we are. So don't you guys worry. Yeah. That's going to be coming up. We're going to do a little, uh, what else are we going to be doing? What? Oh, Some, uh, uh, we, oh. Did a, we got a movie review. Movie review. Movie review for you. Which we'll wait till that comes up to um, hit you with. Yeah, it's just. Uh, oh, and then. This is three years. We, we've been doing this. This is three fucking years. Well, we've actually been doing the Whiskey Dragon for like four years now, but this is like the third Halloween special. Yeah, given the timing and shit. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are obviously big fans of Halloween, as you saw with the last special. Uh, yeah, really absolutely. one of them beyond one. Well, wait, wait. I we got say, some big things planned for this one. I want to say one last thing, one other thing that we have. What is we're going we're gonna to go back like we do every single year. I just realized something else. Our cups are green, too. So there was like floating liquid we just. Well, that's yeah, pretty crazy. Fucking Halloween. Chronic right. zombies. Check right. them out. All right. Uh, what, what the fuck was I saying? I have no idea. Um, I was saying that. Uh, oh, yeah. On this show, the last thing, the big thing we're going to do is throw back. To oh, yeah. Every year we come with the costume ideas. People yep. love them. Everybody's writing about them on Facebook. So we figured what better thing to end it with is a fucking cheap costume idea bonanza. Yep. So uh, trust us. This is going to be fucking amazing. And what else do we have for you? What else do we have? The reintroduction of the first introduction of Louis the Rat. Oh, yeah. Now, if you guys remember. Jim Bob. Turn your damn volume off. We're trying to get film right now. I apologize. This fucking guy's been prank calling me. Well, I think it's a blocked damn number. So you don't know who it is? Oh, muted. I don't know who the hell it is. It's a blocked damn number. I, the, the, well, what the hell does he say whenever he answers? Just being an asshole. Let's let's move on. Let's get this Halloween show to do. Well, no, our fans want to get to the bottom of it. Well, well no, 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 no. It's all right. I just yeah. let's seriously. We'll talk about it later. All right. Well. Then, all right, well, well Jim Bob's fucking crazy person. Yep. Life. Let's get to the uh, very first clip here. Hey, let's do it. I'm excited to that movie review. All right. All right. Yeah, Jim Bob, what's up? What? Oh, fuck. We, we said the movie, huh? Oh, you know, it was good drinking. All right, uh, so the movie thing. Right. Or not the movie, Dave, the pumpkin carpet. All right. What? Okay. Never know what he's talking about. Pumpkin carbon. All right. Well, here we are. Pumpkin carbon 101 with your buddies, Jim Bob and Clint. That's right. Now, you might hear some sounds and stuff. We're in a garage and it's raining right now. Yeah, and it's being in a metal building, yeah, that rain makes some noise. Yep. So, as you can see, we have some tools. This year, we're going to do pumpkin carving with power tools. That's right. We got sick of using them damn knives and shit. We're going to try a new way and try to make it a YouTube sensation. Yeah, them knives really don't work too well. So, we got hammer, chisel. These are the things that you're going to need. Yeah. We got a mixer here. Now, I use this thing here for mixing paint. 
Now it's powder coating all over it. Well, they need the powder coating all over it. That's not powder coating, Jim Bob. That's under, under, under coating. Under spray. coating. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, that's that's an option. Option there. So we got a one inch uh, spade bit here. We got a reamer. Oh, big yeah. reamer. Got a reamer out. Got a uh, sheet metal. Um, what's this called? Sheet metal. Uh, sheet metal cutter. Shearer thing. Wow. Oh yeah. Woo. And then we got. The wall sawzall. Wow! And uh, we, here we got some uh, different saws. Saws. Yeah. And then we and have whole saws. We got a, oh, well, we got a GoPro camera to get inside them guts. Yeah, that way you can see what the pumpkin sees when we're cutting into it. But I'm gonna be looking away whenever them guts are out because that's kind of icky and I, I might get sick. Yeah, we don't want another hospital trip in the middle of getting some pumpkins. All right, all right, let's get to it. Let's do it, do it. All right, well let's get started and get the top off this little bitch right here. All right, so, which one do you want? Well, I'll take that. You want that one? Yeah. Alright, well, I'll take this one. Mine um, kind of has a flat head. It's probably dropped on its head as a baby. Yours just has warts on it. Mine has warty, uh, and then the top was broke off. Alright, so mine. Yeah. Gotta stand up. Well, you want to use mine? Yeah, I'll take it. Alright, so let's get the top off oh, this bitch right here. Now, let's we're going to use this chisel right here. This is um, made in China. Uh, it probably has a size, but we don't know it. Yeah. So we're going to. Regular chisel. Just get the top chisel off right here. Just little, little things the whole way around it. Now you could probably spend hours doing that, right? Like wood chis chiseling kind of. Yeah, because you gotta take it off in like little blocks there. But you know what? This is kind of boring. This is. And this right here is the power tool episode. Yeah. So if you're gonna do this, it's gonna take you a long time with the chisel. So we're gonna. Speed things up a little bit with this. Oh yeah. All right, let's get this little bitch plugged in around here. Oh man. <sighs> now you're planning on taking the top off of this. We're gonna take the top off of this. This is the uh, Dewalt sawzall with uh, the biggest fucking blade I had. So Dang. let's uh, we'll turn it here right. like this. You wanna hold on to yep. that? You wanna be safe, guys. All right, safety first. Okay. Yep. Just like that. Well, it's not like a normal one. Well, we're gonna have to get down into her. Oh, that's kind of disgusting. But right there, bam! Wow, wow. you hold it right there. That was like fucking butter right oh. there. Try to get this in here. Ready? Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on, we gotta... Let me use the hammer. No, wait, no, 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 I got a better idea. Uh, where's it at, where's it at? Wow. Oh, on one way. I got it. Seems you're falling. Oh, we got the crowbar, it's a good idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there she is. There she is. Wow, right there. Now, bam, you got the top off. You got your top layer of guts. Right there's a clean ass cut. Yeah, no, well, that worked pretty good. But you got all these icky guts in here. Yeah, yeah you're flicking them. Oh, on sorry. Here. So what do we do with these? Why does it look like they're crystallized or something? Ugh. See that? These are icky. Looks yeah. Like crystallized. Well, yeah, they look like that a lot well, of the time. That's where you're gonna want to grab your, your grill there. Yep. Preferably a Dewalt grill. Put that in there like that. We're gonna get rid of the guts. All right. Hold on. Her. Oh man! Wow. It's working. It's working like magic. Oh, wow. Had I known this all them years ago. Jeez. Woo. Let's all turn right. it up a little bit. Yep. Right. Oh, let's get her done. Let's get her done. Oh, let's get her done. Wow. Now, a lot of people might have turned this video on and said they're going to build pumpkins with power tools. Look. You'd be fucking amazed. You want this all right here? Yeah, dump it right there. You'd be fucking amazed. At show, what, show, show what it got. And what can be done. Well, it needs a little cleaned out, but Let's damn. Out, as you can see the insides of that. Wow. Okay, we're going to get the other top cut off. Get the rest of the insides cleaned out. And we'll be we'll right back. We'll get back to you. Put that in. All right, we just want to take a second real quick and show you just how nice that is inside there. Freaking amazing. I mean, and that was... 
no time at all. Now you guys at home might not be out using all your, these different power tools and stuff, but the saws ought to cut the top off, and that right there, that's gonna save you a lot of time getting them seeds. Made all the difference. Right here, in, in like two seconds flat, we got us a whole bucket of seeds and guts. You can just take that bucket right there on your neighbor's porch. Dump it on, dump it on some asshole's head. Walk away and know you did not a good deed, but yeah. Hey, trick or treat, trick or treat man. That's right, all right, let's get the other one done. All right. You right? Yep. Where do you want her? Just right there. Same thing. Just be easy. Don't cut me. Holy shit. Don't cut the cord. All right, now we got both of them. Tops cut off, the insides all degunkified. Amazing. We got this camera here that's going to go inside the pumpkin. Wow. That way, whenever we're uh, cutting into it, you'll see the penetration of the power tool, if you will. So let's um, take this one down. We're going to start off with the, uh, the sheet metal shearer thingy. Yeah, wow, cool. And uh, we got a razor blade here. Only because it was on the table before we started, I didn't realize it. So get rid of one of them. Let's get this, uh, oh, this guy already got pumpkin guts on it. <clears throat> get this over here. I need to oh. top her off there. This here's filming. Real nice clean topper. Oh man, we're gonna get the inside Let's view for you guys. So Pop that some bitch right in there like that. I'll see if we can not sit her up so it sees a little bit better. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna try to shear her here, see how this works. Let's All right. turn it. You think it's gonna go through her? No, no, no. Why not? Let's see. Okay, the shear doesn't work. Shear's not working? That's All right. right. Well, mark that off your list. You guys don't need the shears. Yeah. If you were concerned about that. Don't try the shear. So you think we're gonna go sawzall? No, way. no, we're gonna. Put, oh yeah, the little bit. This here. What's that thing called? This is a spade bit. Spade bit. I think that's what's called. Not to be confused with the diamond bit. Yeah, it is. Or the heart bit. Something like that. Oh shit. Holy shit. Alright. You've gone for some maybe some eyeballs. Right. Well, I want them to see. We well, yeah. Oh. The camera in there can see us. Hi. Alright. All right. Eyeball. Hey about there. Does that look good to you? That looks good to me. Right. Eyeball area. Wow, it's a pretty good eyeball. Let's try to make this one about right over here. Fuck. Look at that. Two eyeballs right there. Wow. Two eyeballs right there. That looks, that looks pretty damn good. That looks pretty good. Let's give her a nose. We're going to do the other one a little bit different, um, too. We'll show you different techniques. Kind of nose. You want to do a single nose or a double nose? Maybe double nose like a pig. Double nose like a pig. Maybe we'll make a pig this one. Okay, so that would be about middle right there. Go an inch or you want to get smaller? Why do you want to do this, Jim? You got to do it however you want. Be an artist. I'm going to give it a single nose. Let your artistic single nose flare fly. Single nose. I am. And then the mouth. Oh, you're going to do it all with this. We're going to give it a grin in mouth. So we're going to start there. We're going to end it over about here. Oh, yeah. I see what you're doing. You're just drilling yourself some pilot holes. Pilot holes. That's what we're doing right here. About there, maybe sounds good. Now, some people out there might not like pumpkin carving, uh, but this is a new twist to it. You got in the garage, have a great time. Yeah, Take your damn kid out there. 
Look at that already. It's coming together. Fuck yep. you, oh, yeah. It's now, the coming. naysayers might be like, that looks like Frosty the Snowman. That don't look good, but they don't understand what's about to happen next. Yeah. So we're going to take that and we're going to put the reamer in there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. once he reams it, shit's going to be a lot different. Reamer out here. It's going to be a lot Ready? bigger hole. Yep. Oh. Good, oh. um, oh, you reamed it off the damn thing. I didn't put it in tight enough, Jim. Oh, what happened? Okay. All right, reamer. Reamer time. Oh man, it ain't just ain't holding that reamer. Reamer ain't working. See, I don't think the reamer was meant to ream. It's reamer. catching all that shit. Fucking up. You're finding out a lot of. We're finding out a lot of tools in the garage weren't made exactly. For damn, bro. Huh? Don't cut the damn camera. Oh, it'll be fine. Oh, Hold on, it's upside down. Jesus oh, it's Christ. Fine. You messed up the cold camera angle. Look at this right here. Oh man, right out Look of there. And now you got a pumpkin. That looks pretty <laughs> That's freaking a smiley pumpkin. amazing. Let's just clear out his eye right there. Maybe put his little top hat on. Oh shit, Jim Ball, that's pretty nice right there. I like that. Bam! I like that. That's wow, that that's is. the first pumpkin right there. Number one. So those are your options right there. You can use the drill, you can use the sawzall, you can use uh the paint mixer thingy here. And this is you the one out of your out of your kitchen. You might be looking at this going, this is a real simple design. Well, this is just a basic design. Yeah. So you can do anything you want with it. That's just what we do with you it. You can make Freddy Krueger out of this if you wanted to, and you had the skill. All right, well, let's, well, let's do, do the, the next, next one. one. Next one's going to be a little different. Watch out. We did some thinking. Yep. And the holes, well, the eye holes are a little too small. A little too small for our liking. Because if you got a candle inside there, you're not going to see the holes. True, and you won't see the, the shit coming out. Bigger eyes equals bigger spooky and bigger price. Exactly. All right, so we're going to use this uh, hole saw right here. This is, um, uh, I don't know what size. Um, it's real big. It's a, it's oh, right there. Uh, next to the biggest one. Two and a quarter inches. Wow. We're going to use this for the eyes here. All Let's right. give her a go. Oh, 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 you want to be easy, but hey, some of that right there might look cool around them eyes. That's right. Whoa. Just See, you got to take some of them mistakes. And three. You got to take some of them mistakes. Actually. And you got to work them into your advantage. Wow, that's looking cooler already. Wow, spooky. There you go, that's for you. I'm getting scared. Wow, look at that. Let's put the other eye here. Oh. You got it? Yep. Oh, I'll spin it one way. Oh, oh, two came off the thing. Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, you're supposed to tighten this stuff down. Well, yeah, I don't really ever do that. Probably why I have so many problems. Well, we're drunk most of the time, so we can't be concerned with shit like that. That's right. Oh, I just did it again. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, that's good enough. All right, All right here we go. Eye right, number two. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. One thing you do want to do is make sure your shit's tight before you start drilling and drilling holes. Mm. Oh, man. Even the way some of this shit's draping down here, if you guys can see that. Some of the shit from the inside almost looks cool from this side. Oh, that looks cool from this side, too. Wow. That's been Jim Bob, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know how any of this shit works. I'm not allowed to use it. All right, here we go. Ah, hold on. Tighten down the vice now. All right. All right. Let's go for it. Oh, don't be too ambitious. You want to be careful. Oh, yeah. Quit hitting that. So I think that looks fine. Bam! Look at them eyes. Wow. Look at that nose. Perfect size hole right there. Or perfect size right here, depending on how you're. And you got some little pumpkin nuts. Yeah, you can stick up. I don't know what the fuck you do with them. Cook, cook them in the oven. Okay. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Now. Let's do the last one. All right. Got a completely different idea for the last one. Let's see how it works. Let's check her out. All right. Now, I've been doing some thinking. Yep, me too. What is one way that I can't think of anybody ever carving a pumpkin? Oh, I was thinking about something else. Oh, well, I got something planned for you. The hell you? Whoa! Oh, don't do it to him, Clint. The internet is not ready for this, Clint. We're going to carve a pumpkin with a torch. Woo! Yeah. Something out here. Something in my mind tells me this is a good idea. Oh yeah, amazing idea. Probably not the best idea. Now, do we need them uh, them special glasses? 
and shit. Well, no, I don't think so. Well, just don't look into the flame, people. I think it's okay in the camera. I hope I got enough gas. Oh, we don't have enough. Shh. Hmm. Oh, I hear a little bit. We'll find out. Woo! There we go. There she goes. We got here. All right, I don't know how this is going to go. You think it's just going to burn it? Might set off some fire alarms. Yeah, yeah. Don't do this at home, children. I'm always we're, bad at this. We're untrained professionals. Oh, that's crap. Woo! Yeah, don't look into that. Let's see what happens. Woo. Oh, you want to do it for the camera? Oh, for this side? Yeah, do it for the camera. All right. Glasses. Gotta give us some uh, features here. Let's, uh... Woo! Damn! I think it looks all right. That looks pretty damn cool if, if I say so myself. Wow! Now, I can't really see much of anything at all. Now, you at home seen how quickly he could have easily went for Deadpool. Yeah. on this and made a, a amazing Deadpool. You know who it almost looks like too? It almost looks like uh, the Misfits. Remember that? Yeah, it does. I, I really can't see you. I'm just- There you go. I'm we going got, based on where the sound yeah, is. Yeah, I'm kind of blind Jim too. Jack, I can't see shit. Um, we could call this, we, should, we can hashtag this. I can't remember what the fuck we were talking about. But this is oh, pretty cool. It's kind of solid too. See, it makes it harder. Oh, maybe not harder. Huh? Might even preserve it. Now. Bam, right there. And? Right there. You don't need to try. Just curious. I need to put a flame inside there to see if it illuminates. It's not a bad so idea. So I'm going to light this back up, take the top off. You turn the lights off, and we'll see if it lights it up. Well, there's no holes. Why would it light it up? I don't know, but I have an idea. It might. All right. Turn up the lights. Hold on. All right, there, lights off. Uh, the other switch, too. That one. Hey, see what we got with both of them. How's it? Oh, that looks cool. Does it? Yeah. What about this one? Oh, wow. That looks cool as hell. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, well, there you have it. Come on over, Jimbo. Little light show, too. There you have it right there. Pumpkin carbon with power tools and a torch. That's right. All right. We'll see you later. Be safe at home. All right. Wow. Who would have thought? You can carve a pumpkin with a blowtorch. <laughs> Not me. I mean, it didn't really carve a pumpkin. I mean, it well, it, it made it, it cool as hell, like some, uh, like I said, some Slipknot mess. Like some, almost looked like Deadpool or the Misfits. It did. Wow. Pretty inter interesting. That's right. And I'm sorry about it. I wasn't fucking thinking whatever I said. Oh, that that's fine. I was getting some chips down the store. And I thought about that and I said, damn. Well, the good thing is, is that one of us is paying attention. 
Yeah, that's true. And that's I mean, you, right? The other, yeah, mostly. All right, so uh, what the hell are we talking about? What the fuck are we doing? Oh, we're doing safety things, right? Sa oh, seasonal safety. Seasonal okay. safety. Now, this isn't so much trick-or-treating so much. But yeah. this is things in the seasonal times of what it is at fall. Yeah, fall. Because if you want to know more about trick-or-treating safety, you can go back to the other videos of the years past. I already covered it. We got candy safety, we got Halloween costume safety, I mean, all that shit. When you master something, you just don't want to go back to yeah. it over and over again. It's like a remake. You just yeah. don't fuck with perfection. Got to do new stuff. All right, so seasonal safety yeah. uh, for the fall time of the year. You got to think about certain things because it's always dark earlier. It's dreary. Yeah. It takes longer for the sun to come up in the morning yeah. until you set the clocks back. But even then, so... One of the things people forget to realize is whatever you're driving, like especially in the fall, is a big one, and it's always raining and shit. Yep. And you got wet leaves all over the road. <sighs> Those things are deadly. They are. It's like driving on ice. Really. I call them dead pits of leaves. Is dead what pits I call of leaves them. is what he calls them. I get pissed off. Now I was on a bike one time. Yeah. Riding a Harley. He was. And uh, hit some of them wet leaves. Almost died. <sighs> almost died right then and there on the spot. Almost so, went to heaven. Definitely with the seasonal safety, you gotta pay attention. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you get cold nights, you get warm afternoons. It's true. You got cold evenings, you get colder nights. Oh, yeah, it yeah. Happens. Oh, seasonal. And then the other thing, too, is to watch out for is everywhere, like all towns, not all of them have the same trick-or-treating night. Yeah. So oh, you yeah. could be flying down the road, drunk as hell, flying down the road, not really paying attention, listening to music, blaring. Yeah. Oh, the next yeah. thing you know, there's 20 kids walking across the street in costumes. Oh, yeah. Now, now you're up for manslaughter. Absolutely. You're I like mean, the base of a horror movie right there. Well, sometimes it's, uh, you know, like it's getting colder outside, right? Everybody's not used to a game being colder outside. So you got them space heaters in there. Maybe you got blankets laying up next to them. Oh, good. I know where this is Set going. your whole damn house on fire. Right. Damn. It's, late. it's falling asleep with them cigarettes in your mouth. That'll do Remember growing up, everybody had a kerosene heater? They did. And yeah. everybody always had the kerosene heater with the, uh, a lot like my uncle anyways, had yeah. a kerosene heater and he had a pot of water on top of it. And inside the pot of water, he would put like cloves and different shit. Oh yeah, to make the house smell better. Oh yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's just because he drank a lot. And he smoked a lot in the house. And Might have been. Might have been beer, making some hippie remedies. Beer and stuff. farts and cigarette smoke. Might have been letting that stuff sit there for a while, sipping it, which we don't suggest you kids do out there in the fall time. I wonder if that was to cover the smell of marijuana. Could have been. Might have been. Might have been. I know your uncle. It makes a lot of sense coming to think. Yeah, of it that. does. Hmm. So. uh... But yeah, there's all kinds of seasonal safety things, like changing your fucking furnace filter in your house. There you go. Who thinks about that? Who I thinks? don't. Nobody thinks about that yeah, stuff. You got to think about it. Putting plastic up on your windows to save on your electric bill. That's or, a good or gas point. gas bill or whatever. Yep, that's true. The, 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 whether you like it or not, a lot of us don't, but you can't hide from it. The fucking snow is going to come. That's so you got to buy yourself some salt, some shovels. Right, you just be ahead of be ahead of the rest of the neighbors and stuff. Then you'll be ready when that big storm comes. Yeah, in. and let's not forget about driving in the winter. Yeah, I mean. Because first snow, it's always the same. Yeah. You're driving down the road, next thing you know, somebody pulls out, they're driving five mile an hour, and you're trying to get... Sorry, Jim Bob. Oh, man. Sorry. Him and that fucking phone. I told you fucking had this one. Holy shit, that's the same that damn number. It says unlisted. How's it the same number? Well, the other one call me is unlisted. Hmm, Seuss. Come on, speaker friend. Hello? Hello? Why the fuck's he just breathing? Like just that? fucking hung up. Say the same fucking thing he did to me. The fuck? I, I'm telling yeah, you. It probably wasn't the same number. I mean, it was unlisted, All so right. how do you really know what the number was? I gotta break it down to you, right? What? Like, I didn't want to say it earlier. Like, it was serious stuff right here, alright? That guy's been pranking me and saying all kinds of crazy shit. There's been breathing, but there's also he's been saying crazy shit like he's going to come here and kill us. He's a big fan. So it's something about us selling out or something. Did the breathing sound the same or could it, you know. It sounded Halloween. fucking same. That was the same ass, same damn yeah, fake on, number. Yeah, it's Halloween. Fucking people are playing pranks. It could be. could be. I, that's what I was thinking. It might be It might be Bill, not the auto store. Might be Bill. Playing tricks on me, but. I'm going to call Bill right now. I'm try to call Bill right call now. Call Bill right now. Fucking Bill. Vince Bill, man. <sighs> Trying to get this damn Halloween shit done. Bill, what you doing? You're sitting in the tub. Why do you have your phone with you for sitting in the tub? <laughs> He's sitting in the tub. Fucking Jim Bill. Bob, oh, sorry. Oh, no, no. Me and Jim Bob, we're in the middle of film. We were just wondering if, uh, if you were making prank calls or something. 
Who's got in the background? Is that Betty Lou? Oh, son my. of a bitch, Bill. You got Betty Lou at your house on Halloween? Hey, oh, shit. I'll tell you what, I'm going to let you go because I know what's about to happen. All right, Bill, talk to you later. Oh, hey, by the way, you still... He fucking hung up on me. Hey, is Bill, Bill Saunders like he's relaxed over there? Fucking Betty's over there. See, Bill ain't calling us and doing that shit. He's fucking Betty over there. I, yeah, but I wonder if I'm going to bring back that fucking drill. He's a crazy fan, man. I'm telling you, it's a fucking crazy fan. You know how fucking big we are? You know how fucking YouTube famous we how are? How long has he had that drill now? Six months? Now, hold on. I know you want to st sit there and sometimes, you know, you want to sit there and act like we're not huge and stuff. But we are well, a big sensation that's going on right now. And I feel like one of these people might have been crazy. Well, one of these fans that we have. I told you we shouldn't have called it a fucking family. We shouldn't have did all that weird shit. Yeah, it's a little... Crossing the line, I don't I guess. Know. Oh man, I guess trick or treat, right? Somebody got us. Oh shit, Jim Bob, the red light's still. We're still. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, where? What the hell? Are All right, we well, let's finish this damn shit. Seasonal shit. shit uh, seasonal. Oh, we're, yeah, we got the season. What's, what's the next clip? About? Um, the movie review. We just need to go talk about this. For no, it is the actual movie review. Oh, okay. right. All right. All right. Uh, All yeah. Right. So we're gonna throw back to this uh, movie review. We just oh, went yeah. saw the other day in the theaters, and uh, you guys are gonna love it. Oh fuck yeah. Especially for the Halloween fans. Exactly. All right, let's throw it to it. And we just got back from the movies. Oh, yeah, see? Got the ticket stuff. And we are very, very pleased to bring to you the movie in which we have just watched. Well, let's take a shot real quick. Oh, cheers to that. Before we tell them what the movie is. All right. Hey, hey, hey. All right, uh. Ooh, so what the fuck were we doing? Oh, yeah. Being that it's Halloween. Go ahead, Doc. Give me a minute. <laughs> Being that it's Halloween, we went to see the new movie called Halloween. Halloween. Uh, this is a wow. new movie. Oh, I don't know any information on it. The director, somebody, I don't know. It's not the Rob Zombie movie. It's the newest movie, 2018 18. Halloween. I mean, forewarn anybody out there. Before doing a shot of Everclear that has been packed full of raspberries. Yeah. I don't have any forewarning. Just don't do it. See, <laughs> my advice is just do some old crow like you always do. And it'll, it'll it's really good. Yeah. Oh, I mean, man. it's really good, but... Little, so, it, anyways, we ran to the movie theater. We saw this. This is the new movie coming that came out. Yeah, it just came out. Jimmy Lee Curtis is in it. I didn't hear nothing about it before seeing it. No. Yeah, neither of us really watched the trailer or yeah. delved too much into the social media to learn anything about it because we wanted it to be a surprise. That's right. And I just want to say straight up, we're going to try our best not to spoil stuff. Yeah. We're going to do our best to not to spoil anything, get too deep into it, so don't worry. But uh, you had some reoccurring stars. You had yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, and all this you can see in the uh, trailer there. Yeah. We you even got, linked the trailer yeah. down below. You got the original guy playing Michael Myers. Yeah. Who played him originally. Yeah, and back in 1980-whatever. Yeah. Um, 1980, it might be 70 it? or something in the 70s. Something like that. Yeah. Um, you have... Uh, the cop, the original oh, cop yeah. from the, the first movie yep. that was in it. So, yeah. I mean, you got some reoccurring characters, which is nice. I yeah, mean, it's pretty cool. And oh. this, oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, this picks up after Halloween 2. Yeah. Because, so, you, so yeah, you got yeah. Halloween 1, you got Halloween 2. They're basically one movie together, if you look at it. Um, and that's what it is. Chronologically, after. if you look at it. So, if you remember, in Halloween 1, he falls off the fucking balcony, and then he disappears. And then uh, he comes back. Well, yeah. Then he comes and back and all that shit. Pissed. And then at the end, they shoot him in, in the eyes in the hospital. <laughs> she shoots him. Then the whole hospital blows up because Loomis turns the gas on. Something yeah. like that.
Bam, Loomis dies. Um, so yeah, so they went from there, and so now he's still at the mental hospital. Yes. No, uh, he's chained up. I mean, that whole mental hospital shit in the beginning is pretty yeah. cool. Um, he got a new guy that's looking after him. Yeah, the, uh, well, two things. First of all, the the way they portrayed the mental hospital in this yeah. movie in the beginning was very unique. Yeah. I, mean, I remember watching it, even like, Jim Bob, like, look at that shit. I oh, mean, yeah. there was, it was very unique the way it was done. Well, there was like a tile floor. Yeah. On the, it was, it was like the outside, and then just the way they had them chained up and shit. Yeah, I mean, we can't really. We don't want to get too deep in it. But it was pretty cool. Yeah. It was a real cool, uh, what do they call that? Like, when you see it, like a picture, pictorial or something. Yeah, something like something that. Like something like that. Something smart. It's real cool. Big word. Probably that long. Yeah. But uh, something we talked about pretty much the whole ride home was how. In the originals, Dr. Loomis was like the unsung hero. He was like the hype man. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, you know, Michael Myers would go do all this shit, but then Loomis would be like, he's got dead in his, he's got black in his yeah. eyes. You know, he's a like hero. evil. Yeah, he had all that lingo. He's like the flavor flavor to his Chuck yeah. D. I met him 15 years ago. I, I was told there was nothing left. No reason, no uh, conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death of good or evil, right or wrong. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight years trying to reach him and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply Evil. And it was nice how uh, in this movie they did throw back to a lot of the originals. Yeah. And I mean, um, primarily movies one and two, and there's a hint of three in there, and there was something, I can't remember what the hell it was, but I remember pointing it out during the movie, there was yeah, something there was from something Halloween else. 4 in there. Well, okay, yes, because, uh, all right, now, what if, what if that one kid that was one of our favorite characters? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Is a young Buster Rhymes. He could be, and then he eventually he comes it's up. It's a paradox. Kicks. Well, I don't think those ones yeah, end up happening after nah, he's working. Was, so, but, yeah. all right, so well, I want to say, if anybody knows me, they know I hate these fucking remakes. They're making all this garbage. Uh, the he does. Ghostbusters, taking these classic movies. Uh, the Friday the 13th, I fucking hated. Uh, I like Rob Zombie's Halloweens, but yeah. I'm just saying, uh, they always fuck up because they're trying to just make money and cash in. Now, this movie seems like a movie made by a guy who... Uh, a fan. Yeah, a fan. Homage. I mean, this is an homage movie where he's thrown back. If you're a fan of Halloween series, you're gonna be a fan of this movie because there's a lot of things. I think it was done tastefully. Oh, very much so. Um, the kill it scenes. Was, it was definitely gorier than the original. Oh yeah. First two Halloween. Oh movies. yeah. Um, but it wasn't like really over the top, disgusting. Yeah, yeah, and it wasn't. Fest. And it was a. Uh, the effects look real. It looked yeah, pretty it damn very, real. It was very well done. Um, but yeah, there were some parts where I was like, oh, man, I can't believe it. I don't that. recall, except for one part that I can think of, and even it's, I'm a little skeptical on, but I can't recall any CGI in this movie. Not that I could see, yeah. yeah I, mean, I think it was pretty, all practical effect. I mean, It seemed like, well, there might have, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the one part I'm thinking of, yeah, towards like the end of the movie. Yeah. Was probably some CGI. But, I think I might know what you mean. But for the most part, I think it was pretty, uh, pretty uh, practical and yeah, oh yeah, yeah, fucking amazing. Pretty good, yeah, oh yeah. Like uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of Halloween, uh, and these movies and stuff. Also, you know, I like Halloween, but uh, and and you know, I was Hell unsure yeah. about this. Got Curse of the Thorn right there. Oh, me too. Got uh, Look at that. Got something else. I don't know. Somewhere. But uh, so uh, I got Michael Myers tapped across my balls. <laughs> not Michael on one ball, Myers on the other. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know, girls. Not that I've seen it. Just what he's told. Yeah, me. I tell him all the time. <clears throat> so, oh, so there's something oh, yeah. we we're talking about on the way home was the, uh, um, the the cross between the curse of the thorn, the shade, oh, yeah. the boogeyman. Yeah, let me break that down for you. Now you run through one through two. That's Michael Myers and stuff. Then three is about the mass and stuff. Love Season people, of the Witch. We both love it. So go, yeah. go fuck yourself. Um, then, then it goes on to four and five, which pick up after two and with the little girl. And then there's a then there's six that comes along. And six was recut 
some guy made it and they recut it or something and then they have the uh, they made six, like a six, whole new film out of it yeah they got the producers cut that you can buy butt off of eBay back in the day so I got the producers cut and it has all the Curse of the Thorn stuff that they cut out and all that stuff so uh so the point is which that, is only really revealed on the 666 edition right yeah oh yeah it yeah. is yeah yeah and I guess they didn't like that a lot of people don't like that and I don't think they really go deep into the Curse of the Thorn or any of that because it, really what it was was I don't know the doctors had them uh, they were using them to do sacrifices. I don't fucking remember. It was all this crazy shit. Yeah, it was weird. And it was these rune stones, and uh, it went back to all this travel shit and whatever. So uh, it almost made him sub subhuman in yeah. a way, right? And then they called him the shape and stuff, and he would just like appear in places, and it was almost like he was a phantom or something. Uh, Which makes sense to a lot of his killings because anytime you yeah. see him, he just like kind of pops up. Girl will run from A to B. Yeah. And she'll be running full fucking time. he's just walking. And he's just walking from A, and then he just shows up at B. Bang. Like, the shape. Yep. So, that's they kind of played with that in the other movies and stuff. Uh, so, what he's saying is, in the movie, there was parts where they kind of talked about it, kind of played upon it. Like, yeah. maybe they were going to go that way with it. But really, they ended up kind of showing him, they kind of showed how he would go into the houses. His, they would show him going to the fucking yeah. house. And the movement and the timing that he would go in there and kill these people in almost perfect timing. Yeah, I mean, that's really what it boils down to. It's not that he was like superhuman or yeah, he was just mythological great. or anything. He just, he was smooth. And there's good time. He was he real was smooth. smooth. Like, he would just walk in, cut you up, You're and done. then walk out. Like, yep. Wasn't enough thing. Yeah, I don't really know how to explain it other than he was just smooth. Yeah. Oh, now let me say, too, uh, I don't think this is going to break anything. In the very beginning of the movie, you, the first time you see Michael Myers... In the mental hospital, he ain't got no mask on, and they're almost showing his damn face. Almost. He's kind of like an older guy. And um, that sparks something, which I, again, don't think it really reveals anything, is you do see a glimpse of his eye. Oh, yeah, because he got his eyes shot out in, in number two, and that's where it picks up from. So, so that was really interesting that they actually kept that little, little wee detail there. Yeah. Of his eyes being shot out. Now, here's something. I always had this problem. I always said, Halloween 1 and 2 were great, but then his eyes got shot out. So what the fuck? He's running around blindly killing all these people? Well, whenever you're blinded, your other sense is heightened. Well, true, but I don't think about, you know, being all that, that quick and shit. How he's sneaking That's in. true. So what I'm saying is, uh, I was always like, that's bullshit, right? After 2, he was done. He couldn't see nothing. Um, but now that I think about it, deeper... I was sitting in that movie theater thinking about it, and I said, wow, maybe it hit some of his eye, then there was a piece of his eye over here. That's a good point. it kind of looked like that. That's a good point. Maybe he had a little bit of vision, but not like the best. Yeah, because it looked like it was like, it almost looked like cataracts or something. His eye was like completely white. It did. And, and you never saw the whole eye. And that's looking past the fact that that bullet would cross through his eyes that are spongy little fucking bullshit things yeah, yeah, into yeah. his brain and probably kill him, but you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, you would think. But anyways, but he's, yeah. Okay, there was something else we wanted to bring up. It was uh, about the sheep and oh, the um, when the cop says about the babysitter killers. Oh killers. yeah, he makes a, the, the cop says uh, he refers to the old murders as the babysitter killers, which is the, uh, the original working title of Halloween. Yeah, I think it's or maybe the babysitter murders or something. Something like something that. Like that. But he referred to the original yeah, working title. Just another time where the director or the writer or whatever the fuck was like he throwing an homage shit. back to the old movies. Is there anything else? Uh, I mean, we, we'll well the talk. mask, the mask, cool. The mask yeah. is pretty cool. Oh, the reveal of the mask. I was really happy with oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. It was almost done in like a slow motion. Like it was as you're sitting in a theater, you're like, fuck yeah, you know? Yeah, what I mean? Oh like, yeah, you see, you it coming. knew the director, or whoever filmed that, knew at that point like what to give the fans. Oh yeah, and he delivered it for the fans. Because if you think about it, there's been a couple times within the movies, even the old movies, and uh, even Rob Zombie's movies where. Uh, you know, he's got to go, he's got to get his mask. And there's yeah. a point where he finds his mask again. And they did this really good. Now, here's something I want to say real quick. I just want to break it down. Let's break it down for him without spoiling anything. Let me try. You, you got 30 years later, I think, Michael yeah. Myers in a mental hospital. You got these. Uh, you got this guy who's the new Sam Loomis, if you will. Yeah. Um, kind of, right? He's doctor. Watch, Sam yeah, Lewis. doctor. He's watching over. Michael Myers, this guy, and then you have these reporters that are coming in. Now yeah. we're not sure if they're podcasters. Well, the guys, they say they're podcasters. But yeah, and then the lady kind of like goes, "Oh no, we gotta say this so we sound cooler," you know? Yeah. But uh, yeah, so they're doing they're journalists of some sort, and they're trying to track down all this Michael Myers shit and write something on it, yeah. you know, or do a podcast or whatever. So then you got uh, Laurie Strode, who's Laurie living. Strode. 
And it's still the original Lori. It's still the original, because if you think in the end of two, she's still living. Yeah. Uh, you know, Sam Loomis is dead, rest in peace. Uh, uh, what the hell's his real name? I don't remember. Oh, man, Donald Pleasance. Donald Pleasance. Rest in peace, Donald Pleasance. But, uh, but uh, you know, anyways, he's not in the movie. She's there. She's living. She's kind of got this house. She's PTSD out the ass. Exactly. She's, Which, why wouldn't she be? Yeah, she's trained her whole life. She had a daughter. And she trained her daughter, who's actually also in the movie with her family. Yeah. Who, uh, the dad's real inappropriate and shit. Yeah, he's real weird. So he's trying to be cool and shit. And real strange. Not. So you got them, but, but Lori Strode, she got the, you know, she got guns, she's been shooting, she knows her yeah. shit, she's ready to take down Michael when it comes to that time. And you even see it in the trailer. Yeah. She says that, uh, she's been praying for 30 years for Michael Myers to escape. She knew that so he was going to escape. You know that I pray every night. That he would escape. Who the hell did you do that for? So I can kill him. Yeah, for the last 30 years, she's been prepared for it. Yep, because there's some, something with the stars, man. Just every once in a while, he's got to come out and he's got to try to kill his fucking sister. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the Curse of the Thorn, if you guys don't know, that goes back to something where... Uh, that's, that's back in the Sam, Sam Hain. Yeah, like... Uh, or Samhain. During, during the Festival of Samhain or whatever, which is kind of like the uh, harvest time. Yeah. Uh, the, yes, uh, they, which coincides with the harvest moon, which is the October moon. Yeah, so basically, I guess it's some old shit where some I don't know if this is real or not, but some pagan oh, ritual, old. some pagan ritual where one tribe of all the tribes or some shit, one family of all the of the tribe would have to fucking kill their, their all, all their siblings or yeah. all their yeah. So uh, anyway, they were cursed Weird to do shit. that. So that's why Michael Myers is cursed. We don't know. That's not in this movie, but I'm just saying. But the theory makes sense. Yeah, that's a theory. So yeah. a little bit of Halloween talk along with. So yeah, I mean, we went really above and beyond in reviewing this movie because we just talked about the whole franchise. We did. We did. Well, we don't want to give away too much because yeah, you guys, true. it's still in the theaters. You guys go see that shit. It's pretty badass. Hundred percent worth going to see. Trust me, I've seen a million and one movies that I would sit here and say, "Don't fucking go to the movie yeah. theater. Waste your time. Don't even get the DVD at the movie rental store." One of the first things we said when we left was, I can't wait for that to come out on Blu-ray so I can get the special features. That's true. I want to see the, scenes. the featurette. I want to see, I want to hear the commentaries. Oh, man, that's going to be, be cool. I want, I want it all. Cool. That's, a, that's a buyer. You got a lot of DVDs that aren't buyers. You just maybe get your friend in Mexico to download them for you. Yeah. Or you, uh, you know, whatever, catch them on fucking Netflix or something. But there's certain movies you got to own in your collection, and this might be one yeah, of them. Yeah, this is definitely one of them. This is one I can watch again. Yeah. All right, well, let's get back to the other show. Yeah, let's do it. See you later. Wow. I told you you were going to like that. That was pretty cool. Now, that happens to be a uh, personal childhood favorite of both of ours. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can't amazing. go wrong with Halloween. Exactly. And I know there was, I watched a video recently. There was a lot of people shit talking uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the fuck that's Yeah, about. I liked it. Those people need to shove their opinions right up their assholes. Right up there. Whoop. Yeah. All right, so... Last thing, bring it back just for y'all. Yep. We're talking about cheap Halloween costumes. Oh, man, everybody loves this one. This one's a crowd favorite. All right, you want to go first or you want me to? You want to go first? You got one? Uh, after you. All right, I got one on the tip of my tongue. All right. Wow, so right, all right, so you put you, you, you put some uh, you put some tight bicycle pants on, right? Ooh. You start lifting. You got to start for a while. You know what I mean? You oh, got to get on some creatine. You got pre -game. This Yeah, you got to get on creatine and work out. Uh, shakes, all that shit, right? Get that protein and stuff. Uh, get yourself hopped the fuck up. What do they call it? Swole. Swole. Right? Yeah, then get swole. you go as poor man's arm source now. I, I don't poor know. Man's arm. <laughs> oh, I thought you had something better. I didn't really have one. What? Do you have a better one? Okay, well, the real idea is you go to Walmart. Yeah. For two bucks, you buy yourself a mask like mine and Jim Ball. It's not a bad idea. And you go as fucking... Poor ass last minute costume idea, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Poor ass last minute wow. costume, man. Exactly. Exactly. Chicks will love it. Exactly. I think we can't beat that one. I mean, there's been so many seasons, years that we've done this. I feel like we're running out of ideas. Well, we kind of are. Now, there's, there's always more. Now, we could go a little deeper into the costume thing. Now, it's easy to be like, oh, we can be Aladdin and all oh, this shit. Oh, I got a good one. Oh, bad, good. I got a good one. You get yourself a hat. Yeah. You put it in a stick. Yeah. And you go. As a crazy guy with an imaginary friend. There you go. People will love you at the party, right? Fuck, that's a simple one. Yeah. Like, yeah. hey, this is my imaginary friend, Sticky. And you could possibly be a guy with an imaginary friend, and you could slip into these parties and hang out with normal people. That's a good idea. Yeah. You could be a crazy peer person mingling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, that works out yeah. pretty good. All right, so you ready for this? Let's see what you got. You, uh, you throw tampons all over yourself. You glue them to yourself right all over your body, right? 
and then you have your you make it look like you have your period and then uh, people will go who are you and you go i'm carrie and then you have a big bucket of blood, <laughs> you got a big bucket of blood and dump it on your head that's like your finale that's it's your finale like, that's a good one you can only do it once a night though so you, know, you, gotta, you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta wait for the perfect moment exactly that's pretty damn good pretty let's amazing. see uh hmm. <sighs> what do you think? I'm struggling right hey, now. I know. Yeah, these things are getting harder every year. Really One harder. thing that's great is fake blood. Because fake blood is great, yeah. With fake blood, you can have a million and one costumes, right? Um, ketchup, can, if you don't have fake blood, you can use ketchup. Yeah. I mean, Prince Paul I mean, used to use ketchup all the time, make us think he's hurt. It's disgusting, but ketchup and uh, blueberry jelly. There you go. There's it's there disgusting you go. mixture, but Pro the tip. two together look really good. Pro yeah. tip. Pro tip. There you go. Make yeah, some idea. fake puke and be, be puke man. All right, now I think it's we're having a real hard time coming up with this this year. So, yeah, but the one that's let's put an interesting true. spin on a classic. Yeah, let's talk about Creepy Man. Oh, fucking kids! Every time we're trying to film something, somebody always has to fucking it. interrupt us. The kids. Almost, there's nobody out there. The fuck. Fucking kids must be playing a game, knocking on people's doors and running away. Ding dong ditch, man. Fucking yeah, kids. Hell, I mean, how many years have you played it? We did it our whole lives growing up. I just wish they would have fucking not knocked when we we're in the middle of filming. Sorry, man. I'm just. Oh, it's not your fault. Man, it's fucking kids. All right. Anyways. All right. Uh, all right. So the um, reinvention of Creepy Man, the, yeah. the twisted Creepy Man. Well, what is the twisted Creepy? Man? We're gonna take twisted Creepy Man. Okay, we're gonna take. What is Creepy Man? He's just underwear. Well, yeah, basically underwear. Because people just, that don't know, Creepy Man, those aren't, that aren't affiliated, Creepy Man is basically what you become at the end of the night once you've drunk too much. Yeah. You might have came... What you're pretty much out of clothes except for your underwear. Exactly. You might have went to the party of Shrek. You end up leaving as Creepy Man in your underwear. We've all been there. All right. So here's the twist on the classic of Creepy Man. Yeah. You take some handcuffs with you. Wow. And you call yourself Prepared Creepy Man. Wow. Because you're going to get arrested. Makes you extra. <laughs> well, well, also because you want to chain up some women or something, which makes Ooh, you extra yeah. creepy. Oh, sexy creepy. There man. you go. I think, well. That's kind of a good idea. Well, let me say one. I what? think the women. The women. Just real quick, I want to run. Creepy woman? Well, no, no, no. Oh, there is no creepy there woman. There is no creepy woman. She's got a sexy lady time woman. <laughs> but women. Uh, well, you know, just some real quick women outfits real quick. Is that all right? Yeah, fuck it. We got all right, time. so some women outfits. Jimbo, we're making the video. Look at well, the time. That's true, that's true. So, you know, a lot of women ask, Jim Bob McClendon, what could we wear for Halloween? Now, we say, now you, you go out there, well, yeah, <laughs> you got there and be a potato sack runner. You could put be. a potato sack on you. Some you got there and be, be a damn uh, Power Ranger. Or, and, and really, if you took the burlap sack, you got a hole out of the top, two out of the side, wore it down over you, took the tie thing, tied it around, you got yourself one of them little shorty shorts. Yeah, yeah, there. you could do that, but you don't want to do that. What you want to do Cut is... Cut two you, holes out for the boobies. You want to save... Yeah. Save yourself around a hundred bucks for tax and everything. You want to go into them stores and buy one of them sexy made outfits oh, or yeah, something, yeah, right? Yeah. You don't want to be buying any of these cheap outfits we're talking about. Because that's the beauty of Halloween is you can dress like a slut. Yep. And everybody appreciates it. Everybody loves you for it. That's right. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, you got, it's, it's a tried and true tradition. All right. Well, hmm. Any other ideas? Shit. Um, let's see here. I mean, we're kind of slacking. We got to think about that one here. The sexy, I, now I'm thinking about a sexy, um, naked, fucking, well, slutty costume. Well, let's one. think of the youngins. The youngins need a. Hey, let's think about this. Oh, man. That's, <laughs> Sorry, Jim Bob. That's now, disgusting. Here, I mean, it happens every time we film it. Here's what I want to see. A couple youngins, two youngins, being Jim Bob and Clint. Wouldn't that oh, be that'd amazing be outfit? Perfect. I mean, it'd be pretty hard well, to pull off. You could cool. any better than that. Yeah. Just get yourself some beards. Get yourself a... Uh, uh, oh. Uh, I don't think that's please kids. Jim Bob. It's just the kids, Jim Bob. Just let him go. Jim come on, Jim Bob, they're kids for Christ's sake. Well, this is gonna take a while. Oh fuck, four messages. Hmm. Told you it was just a bunch of kids, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just a bunch of kids. Fucking gun out to see a bunch of kids. All right, well, get finished here. Fucking pocket phone. All right, so uh, 
costume ideas, costume ideas. I'm really having a hard time with these costume ideas. Um, what if you took, uh, alright, here's one, you take a camera, and you put it around your neck, and you walk around, and every time you see anybody, especially, you know, one of the naked women in their sexy costume things, and, Jim Bob, Jesus Christ, you know better than put a fucking gun to somebody's head? Jim 